Hello, everybody. How are you doing this fine Monday? I wanted to come through and report something else that is, I guess, kind of breaking. Not really. I mean, it's been out a couple hours at this point, but it is being reported that Tony Busby, that is the Texas lawyer who is representing like over 120 victims or something, alleged people who are alleging that they are victims of Diddy. Well, it's being reported that he, the lawyer, is now facing a lawsuit of his own. And it's for extortion and some other things. Now, I do want to read a press release and also a tabloid article that did come out a couple hours ago. And I'll, I'll just, I won't bury the lead. I'm going to let y'all know. I looked for the lawsuit. The article says where the lawsuit was filed. So it was, they said it was filed in the LA Superior Court. So I went to the LA Superior Court website and Nothing comes up for Busby, nothing comes up for Tony Busby as a person, like an individual, nor a law firm. So I, we'll get to the details, but I just want to let, let y'all know up front. This is kind of unsubstantiated insofar as like I haven't been able to confirm in the public record any lawsuit has actually been filed. Now, that doesn't mean it hasn't been. There could be many explanations as to why I'm not able to access something and it still could be real and it could be filed. But I haven't seen this lawsuit with my own eyes. All we have to go by is a press release and a TMZ article and a couple other articles of the sort. Now, I did look on the federal um, circuit court's website, Pacer, just to see if maybe it was a feder it was filed in federal court. I I don't see anything there either. Here is the press release. It says Tony Busby sued for extortion. Okay, and this is what is this? Israel English. I don't know what that's about. Um. News provided by Quinn Emanuel, which is a law firm. Um, Quinn Emanuel is one of the law firms that is involved in the whole Mr. Beast saga. They represent him somehow. Anyway, so this press release came out today. It says Quinn Emanuel filed a lawsuit today in California against Anthony Tony Busby for extortion based on Busby's threats of publicizing false information for financial gain. In the lawsuit, Quinn Emanuel states that Busby has established a pattern of leveling baseless, fabricated, and malicious allegations at high-profile individuals and threatening to name them publicly if they fail to pay exorbitant sums of money. Busby then uses this money to fund his lavish lifestyle. He has deployed these threats in letters, statements to the press, his website, and on social media in recent months to try and shake down well-known individuals. His tactics are unethical and extortionate. And today, Quinn Emanuel seeks to hold him accountable for his, quote, illegal behavior. Okay, so those are some pretty serious allegations coming out against our boy, Tony Busby. And I will tell y'all, this is a conversation that I have had in my private life. I've spoken about this with some of my family and loved ones who know about this case. And we all kind of have said this before. It's kind of like, not only Tony Busby, I won't name any names unless or until they're going to be, you know, sued. But some of these lawyers' behaviors do appear, in my opinion, you know, I haven't said it, like I said, but I'll say it now. In my opinion, the behaviors appear a little bit to be a definitely walking a fine line. I'll say walking a fine line, I'll say. Because I've said this before about another issue too, a different lawyer in this case where it was like somebody was shopping a tape around, like seeing who wants to buy the right of the first refusal to see the tape so that they could release, catch and kip, kill and capture, whatever they were talking about. It's like, uh, it's this kind of like gray area behavior that I feel like some certain types, sects of lawyer society are perhaps accustomed to being able to get away with because of maybe the fact that they're not always under such a degree of scrutiny. And then whenever there is some scrutiny involved, they're making some decisions that are going to call into question, like, wh where is the line? Where do we draw the line? Where, where is it catch and kill versus extortion? Because the catch and I mean, I feel like it's different if you're looking at a situation where someone knows that you have the tape and then they call you up and they say, hey, I know you have the tape. Can we just settle this? That's one thing. It feels to me a little bit different whenever there's a lawyer that's reaching out to say, hey, we're going to say all this stuff about you and it's going to be false. 
And, you know, I obviously Tony Busby and his clients, I'm sure, would disagree with the contention that what they are saying is false. I am sure many of his clients do not believe that what they are saying is false. I'm just kind of going on the all around sides of the issue because one of the primary purposes of my channel, I guess, on this topic specifically, there's a lot of commentary going on and I do want to provide my commentary, but I do want to make sure that I am addressing all of the sides of the actual intellectual and legal argument, although it's not legal advice, I want to do a legal analysis because a lot of times you just get these sensationalist titles, right? Like, did he deny bail or did he mistrial? And it's like, yeah, if that's all you want to know, then go ahead and, and read the headlines. That's fine. That's truly fine. I mean, I'm not even no hate, but I want to give all the different sides. So y'all have to, y'all have to kind of like desensitize yourselves a little bit to like when I'm giving a side, that isn't me arguing for that side. I'm just presenting it so that y'all can see all the sides that I see and notice and point out. Okay. So here's the article. Again, like I told y'all, this lawsuit, I was unable to find it in the public record as of 444 p.m. on November 18th, 2024, but it might, but it may be out very soon or it may not exist. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So this is a TMZ article from this morning, 1241. So about four hours ago, prominent man sues lawyer for Diddy accusers claiming extortion. Diddy, prominent man sues Diddy accusers lawyer. Suing the lawyer, repping more than 120 of Diddy's alleged victims, saying the attorney is shamelessly attempting, this is a quote, to extort exorbitant sums from him while threatening a lawsuit packed with, quote, wildly false, horrific allegations if this high profile individual doesn't pay up. The plaintiff, identified only as John Doe, filed his own lawsuit in L.A. County Superior Court this morning. Describing himself as a high profile individual who knew Diddy and attended events along with the mogul. Okay, so the person who is suing Busby, he describes himself in this lawsuit, this John Doe. He is a quote, high profile individual, and he knew Diddy and attended some events with Diddy. He's being repped by one of the premier law firms in the country, Quinn Emanuel. Importantly, Quinn Emanuel provided some of these uh, press releases. The man says attorney Tony, the, so the guy suing, says Ato attorney Tony Busby and his firm threatened to unleash, quote, entirely fabricated and malicious allegations of S.A., including multiple incidents of R of a minor, both male and female. These are the allegations that were threatened against this John Doe, the one who's suing Tony Busby. And it was if he refused to pay up or comply or, quote, comply with their demands. The suit goes on to say that Busby's demand letters allege the plaintiff are the males and females while they were under the influence of rugs at parties hosted by Diddy. The plaintiff references past lawsuits Busby has filed against other celebrities, including football star Deshaun Watson. The man claims Busby tried to shake down Watson and others by making dubious claims he knows would not stand up in court. Okay, so in the lawsuit that was filed against Busby in this Diddy case, they're citing other times and other places where they allege Tony Busby has done these tactics. Now, TMZ says they did obtain the lawsuit. The lawsuit obtained by TMZ goes on to claim Busby did the same thing against someone else. Green Bay Packers kicker Brandon McManus allegedly threatening to sue over specious allegations of S.A. The suit claims the NFL investigated and found insufficient evidence. So the NFL looked into this. They didn't find enough evidence to sue. But the new lawsuit filed by this Diddy party attendee, John Doe, he references TMZ's documentary where Busby was in it. Busby appeared on TMZ's new Tubi documentary, The Downfall of Diddy, Inside the FOs, in which Harvey Levin asks him about the criticism that Busby's MO is to put enough embarrassing information in a demand letter that it forces a settlement. Busby acknowledged that is indeed the game. So in this law, in this documentary on Tubi, I never watched it, I should probably watch it. Busby said, yeah, that's the game. You put enough embarrassing information out there about somebody in the demand letter, and then it's going to force a settlement, especially if you're threatening to put it out publicly beyond the demand letter. 
So in this lawsuit against Tony Busby, it claims that Busby put a, quote, ticking clock on the extortion demands. Now, these are allegations until proven in court, but he was threatening to sue if the plaintiff didn't agree to mediation to, quote, resolve this delicate and important matter. The plaintiff is suing for extortion and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Quinn Emanuel urges anyone with information on Mr. Busby to contact the company. This is very interesting. We've reached out to Busby so far. No word back. <laughs> Y'all, I didn't even get done editing this video before Tony Busby has responded on Instagram to getting sued. It says that he posted an hour ago at the time that I'm recording this. And here is his statement. I've been sued in Los Angeles in a last ditch attempt to stop me from revealing names in public lawsuits. It won't work. The irony, the suit against me was filed by a quote, powerful John Doe. Here is my full statement. We won't allow the powerful and their high dollar lawyers to intimidate or silence SA survivors. It has been reported that a lawsuit has been filed against my firm claiming extortion. The lawyers that filed it also immediately called TMZ in an apparent effort to silence those who allege SA. Okay, so see how he's wording this here? It has been reported that a lawsuit has been filed. He didn't say that it has been filed. So, I mean, maybe he hasn't even been served with it. And then look again, this kind of backs that up because he's saying, but they did immediately call TMZ. And maybe that explains why I haven't seen it yet. Maybe they filed it and hasn't even processed yet. Here's the deal. Tony Busby's statement goes on. The case filed against my firm is not only without legal merit, it is laughable. Here's why. On behalf of two clients who allege assault, we sent a standard demand letter to New York lawyer that we know represents an alleged perpetrator and a potential defendant. The letters were sent seeking a confidential mediation in lieu of filing a lawsuit. No amount of money was included in the demand letters. No threats were made. The demand letters sent are no different than the ones routinely sent by lawyers across the country in all types of cases. It is obvious that the frivolous lawsuit filed against my firm is an aggressive attempt to intimidate or silence me and ultimately my clients. That effort is a gross miscalculation. I am a U.S. Marine. Oh, okay. I won't be silenced or intimidated. Neither will my clients. Since our professional efforts at resolution obviously have failed, we will instead disclose the demand letters we sent at the time we file suit. Abuse of the legal system, unfortunately, runs rampant. Well, that I can, ooh, I know that for a fact. I've seen that. The lawsuit filed against my firm is a prime example of that. Sunlight is the best disinfectant. That is an old, old Southern proverb, y'all. That means I'm about to expose y'all. That's what it means. That's that's an old Southern proverb. Okay. Also, it is literally true. It is very good to put your items out in the sun. Anyway, okay. He goes on in the final sentence of the statement to say, quote, I have confidence that with full public disclosure, all of this will sort itself out. Okay, so that's a TMZ article. Again, one more time, I was unable to find in the public record the lawsuit being filed. That could be for any amount of reasons. I just wanted to add that as a point. And when I do find the lawsuit filed, if I find it worthy of doing so, I'll make a separate video and we'll go over the specific allegations, perhaps even line by line. That is all I really had for right now. In the meantime, facts ain't defamation and neither are opinions. Love you, Minnie. Okay, bye. Backtrack. And you should have kept the name out your mouth as we go how it all turns.